Welcome to this tutorial about how you can edit your animations using the control rig in Unreal Engine. And this will work similar for Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5. So let's just jump into it. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4.26. If you want to follow along, this is a third person template which I have migrated the control rig into. And if you don't know how to do that, I will post some links to videos so you're up to speed when it comes to both doing that and how to use the sequencer. Now, to be able to edit uh, an animation, what we need to do is we need to first make a cinematic. So we add a level sequence and we just choose a standard name like so. With our uh, level sequence in place, we then want to add our skeletal mesh. So. In this case, I have this skeleton mesh for the mannequin. I'll just put, put him in there. And then we go back to the sequencer and we can just drag the skeleton mesh of the mannequin into this uh, sequence to get a track for him. Now, to begin with, what we want to do is have an animation that we want to edit. So as a placeholder for that, we're going to be using the third person run in this case. And if we look at it, this is what it looks like when it's being played. And that looks fine, but we want to change a few things. The first of those things being that we want to change the length of the sequence. So to have it match, currently you can see this red bar here indicates the end of the, the sequence. And if we hold in control, we can use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out, to zoom in and out on the animation. And we can put it on a level where it's actually fitting the animation like this, so that when it plays, that's what's happening. Um, so now we need to get into uh, making this animation uh, editable. And to be able to do this, you need to have set up both your forward and your backward solver for your control rig. Because when we're doing this, we're right clicking on our mannequin in this case. And then we're doing a bake to the mannequin rig control rig that we want. That will, uh, and you can. You can choose to reduce keys or not if you want to. I'm going to choose to reduce keys because I'm only going to be wanting one, um, a, f a fewer set of keys so it's easier to change in the, the edits that I'm going to be making. Clicking in the bake to control rig will then uh, disable your animation and instead show you how that is translated into your control rig. So now if we drag along the lines here, you can see that we're still doing the animation just like before. However, now we also have the ability to edit it using our control rig. So for example, <clears throat> let's say we wanted to change this, uh, this placeholder animation to be something like, hey, he's not supposed to be running, he's supposed to be doing a victory pose. So maybe we want the head instead to be looking to the right over here uh, because he is like posing to someone here. So we'll put a new keyframe over here. And then when we check the other frames here, you're gonna see it's gonna immediately snap back to whatever it was before here on the second frame. But for our purposes, we don't really need that. So we want to remove all the other frames that are framed for this head so that he continues looking to the right while he's running. And you see his head is following along with his body. So this made that specific change pretty easy because everything conforms. Let's say we wanted to make another change as well. Let's say we wanted to make him do a fist bump with his right hand while he's running to make it look like he's like really triumphant. So what we can do then is we can change this along how we want it to look. And let's see, maybe we bring it up a bit. Maybe we bring it out a bit. Maybe a bit further like so, maybe a bit backwards. Maybe we need to rotate the hand a little bit so it doesn't look like he's breaking his hand. And maybe outwards a bit as well. Actually, I think I'm doing bad things to his hand right now. Okay, so let's look from the side. So it looks like he's sort of doing some weird fist bump. Let's bring it out a bit a little like so, a little bit more closely to the body. So let's say that that's the fist bump kind of pose he wants to hold. So then we can put another keyframe here, which means that we will overwrite the keyframe for the right hand over here. 
But again, if we move forward, you can see it snaps back to whatever position it had in the rest of the animation. Uh, and in this case, we're gonna pretend that I don't want any of these animations at all over here. I want this fist bump and then moving it forward, maybe to, let's say to here, over there maybe. Uh, we can say that since his left hand has been moved backwards a bit, maybe the right hand should be a bit forward because the human body tends to have a pendulum motion, right? So we'll set the keyframe over there. And then maybe we'll bring it forward again more and we'll see that over here he actually has his left hand forward again. So we should probably bring this back a bit again. So maybe something like that. And then we'll put another keyframe. And then we can look at what it looks like. So now you can see his ha he has this sort of swaying hand motion over here. So let's play that and see what it look like. looks like goes a bit fast, but you can see it's sort of like he has a weird sway to his, his arm, sort of a victory pose now. So let's say that we have done all the changes now that we want, and this, this is the new animation that we want to have. What we do then is we right click on our mannequin, and then we say bake the animation sequence, and then we name it something like anim run victory. Like so. And then we export it, and then you see it has created an animation over here. We can open it up and you can see, since this was a looping animation, we can see it looping here. So this is what it will be looking like looping. And now you see we get a little bit of a snapping because the first and the last frame in this animation that we've changed here for the hand are not the same. That's a good animation technique to make sure that the first and last frame have the same position so that the loop is better than this. But this was just to demonstrate how you can change an animation uh, if there's something about it that you want to edit. And that's uh, basically all you need to do if you want to uh, use your control rig to edit an animation. There is a different way also. Uh, let's We can stop this for now, we can save. Let's go find our third person. Let's do this. Let's remove everything here. Our mannequin. Let's remove our mannequin from over here. Let's remove our uh, level sequence over there. Like so. We'll save everything. Now there is a different way you can also edit this if you were to go to uh, your animations, then you have the run here, for example. Uh, you can say over here also, edit in sequencer, and then you can bake it to a control rig, and clicking it over here, and then you get reduce keys, and that brings everything in automatically to uh, be here. Uh, except I didn't seem to have gotten a skeleton this time. Actually, I did, it's over there. So yeah, that is a different way you can do this if you want to. Um, it Okay, it seems like I got the, the animation for Run Victory. I'm not sure if that's the one I opened. No, it's not. Anyway, so, so it opened up the wrong one. But that's a different way that you can also open up um, animations to, to have them edit through this. Uh, I hope all of that made sense and uh, you're able to s see how it works so that you can make use of it for your own edits of animations. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you might have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.